we are about to attempt to change the head lining in my Freelander. This bit is all hanging off and has been for quite a while. This is a 1998 Freelander XDIS wagon and this one was built for uh, to celebrate 50 years of uh, Land Rover and I'm the second owner so here we go we've now taken off everything that is supposed to come off So now we just need to take the headlining out. I managed to break these two. Didn't realise I could have left them on until after. <laughs> Never mind. We'll repair those. We've got it out, so we're just about to take the lining off. We've cleaned all the glue off with old scrubbing brush and just hoovered it off as we went. It's the best way, because it's a little bit windy, so we didn't want all the glue going everywhere. I think we've got most of it off, or all of it off, hopefully. Okay, cool. Okay, we're ready to spray the glue on. <laughs> We've marked it out on the new lining just so that we don't waste any glue for one thing. Roughly where we're gonna spray. Okay, here we go. Okay, the glue is on. We've sprayed both really well. Now we just have to wait until it's really tacky. We got the lining on, not too badly. The other side of these was a little bit difficult. We didn't get it quite in there, but because the nets go over, I'm not too worried about that, but the rest of it, it's not too bad. So we've, folded the ends over and we've made holes where all the screws go it's where the front light goes so we've just folded over and the sunroof and oh yeah because I broke these so we're just repairing these um, they were actually on with all plastic uh, bolts which broke off I mean it's 23 years old so they've obviously just disintegrated a bit so we're going to put metal ones on so not too bad at the minute we will turn it over soon so I bought this um, Freelander in 2013 but as you can see there it was made for the 50th year of Land Rover um, yeah so I I really love it. It's never let me down. I've, I've had some work done to it, but um, really is a good vehicle. If it's a workhorse, just keeps, they just keep rolling, I guess, these old landies. I did have a problem actually with the leak, which I think a lot of these have had with these seals, and I did have it replaced. It still does leak a bit, but not nowhere near as bad. 
Um, but yeah, this cubby hole, if it's really wet, it does get a little bit damp in there, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was, so. But yeah, so that's my Freelander. To um, get these studs off, we just used these trim tools, which my partner bought very cheaply on eBay. Um, they're only plastic, but actually they are really handy. We did get them off straight away. Um, one of them broke, but the rest were absolutely fine. Um, and to take the handles off in the back, just used obviously a ratchet for these. They came off quite easily. Uh, the light just came out. Um, the the visors was just a star a star tool. Um, that one we couldn't. It was just one screw we couldn't get out. I don't know why. My partner had to drill it out. It just would not come out. So um, we've got a that one there. We just couldn't get it out. So he's going to have to pull that one out. But other than that, actually, everything off, came off really easily. So we've got the lining back in. And it looks amazing. That colour is ivory. And after what was in here, it is so much better. after what was in here it's so much better and one thing I would say is just make sure that it's lined up obviously so that you can get these handles and things back in so it all lines up with the holes just make sure that you've put little holes in before you put this back in the vehicle and just get it all lined up before you start putting the all the bits and pieces back on Would we do it again? Yes, I think we would actually. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. So there we are, one headlining replaced in my Freelander.